Okay, the Houston Texans are a bad football team. I mean, there's, there's no other way to go about it. This team is just bad. We are here in week number three, but it's fine. It's a rebuild for a reason. CJ Stroud is the starting quarterback of this team and his first two weeks in the NFL have not been great. Week one, obviously, a road game in Baltimore in the last week, obviously, that game at home to start off, you know, the home schedule against the Colts didn't go well either. And now, of course, we probably have maybe our toughest matchup to date. Obviously, both the Ravens and the Colts were not playoff teams last season, but this was a playoff team right here in the Jacksonville Jaguars, a team that actually won a playoff game in the wild card round last year against the Los Angeles Chargers and a team who eventually ended up falling to the eventual Super Bowl champions in the Kansas City Chiefs. So that is our matchup here tonight. We made one move before the video started. We picked up Cole Beasley. Saw a comment about trying to add Beasley and bringing him back to Texas. We have done just that. I don't know exactly where he fits into the receiver room, but we used to have a bunch of receivers who, you know, none of the guys really stand out compared to the others. I mean, maybe, you know, Robert Woods, John Mechie, I guess you can make the case. But really, it's just a bunch of receivers looking for a spot on the squad. And I guess we'll add Cole Beasley to the mix. He's a veteran guy. But our objective, at least for this week, is to win a football game. Because we haven't done that just yet. We were looking for the first career victory for CJ Stroud. We watched Anthony Richards didn't get that last week with Indianapolis. And the Jaguars are really coming out here. They're running read options on us. Trevor Lawrence is keeping on a read option. He's picking up first downs. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for us more Madden here on the channel. We posted just an expansion team yesterday. We moved the Chicago Bears to Alaska. Go check that video out uh, on the channel as well. And then go check out the rest of the Texans video also. And, you know, just like that, the Jaguars are going to score. It's going to be Evan Ingram on a corner out. They walk right down the field and they score on Houston. It will be 7-0 now for Jacksonville. And here comes C.J. Stroud. 529 yards so far this season, two touchdowns, seven interceptions is one of the worst ratios you are going to see. But again, Peyton Manning had a really bad rookie season in the NFL. Look at that dime right there by Stroud. Finding John Mechie on the corner route. Mechie has been the best target so far in this offense. We have third and seven though for Stroud looking to his left, going for Cole Beasley, but he just simply overshoots him. So normally we'd punt here, but this team's already bad enough. We might as well just go for it on fourth and seven. So Stroud dropping back, looking to throw, and CJ Stroud throws it right into coverage. There really was nowhere to go with the football. He starts off his first drive one for four. Lucky that ball isn't picked. The Jags get the football back from about midfield at third and seven for Trevor Lawrence, and the Texans defense gets him off the field. So really good defensive possession for the Texans. The offense comes back out and now let's go to our run game. We don't feature it much, but I mean, times like this kind of prove we should run the football more. I said or this year in Madden, I kind of wanted to get away from running the football, you know, 30 times a game like I've done in previous Maddens, but it might just honestly help out the offense a lot. But right there, Devin Singletary has the football in his hands and he just gets rocked and drops it. So we have to punt it back to Jacksonville once more. CJ Stroud, I believe now is one for six throwing the football and we can't bring down Travis Etienne. Etienne takes the Jaguars down to midfield. It'll be a first and 10 here for the Jaguars. Lawrence dropping back and over the middle, he will find his tight end once more. It is the speedy tight end in Evan Ingram. Ingram down to the 28 yard line. Jacksonville now with the ball at the 28. Lawrence will go play action fake. He will keep look over the top and oh my goodness, that ball is caught and it will be a touchdown for the Jacks. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown right there. Jalen Petrie was very, just couldn't make the right read. And by the way, Jalen Petrie last week's uh, Defensive Player of the Week for the AFC, put the Texans going to the second down by 14. And they get the football back and immediately face another third down. CJ Stroud drops back, looks for Dalton Schultz, but again, just a tough throw. Stroud is now one for seven. And my goodness, the Houston Texans need some help. I mean, on offense, the defense has been kind of better today, but we can't tackle Travis Etienne currently. It, it's just going to be tough. It's a tough rebuild with the Texans. You may or may not have seen the thumbnail and the title. I mean, I don't want to compare us to the Browns and the Lions of yesteryear, but yeah, it is a really bad football team. Next week, we do get the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know we're only down by 14, but man, oh man, it's 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 not ideal. Travis Etienne down to the 19 yard line. Jacksonville back into the red zone. Lawrence out the empty gun looking. He will find Christian Kirk for more than the first down. He stays on his feet and it will be down to the four yard line. First and goal, handoff ETN. He's got it, 21, nothing is the score for the Jacksonville Jaguars. All Jacksonville so far, Houston has not produced anything on offense. They'll try it again here on a second and eight. CJ Stroud dropping back, looking to throw up the middle. He will find Dalton Schultz. We're going to make sure to hit that possession catch because that is Stroud's second completion of the game. The first one, of course, being on the very first play to John Mechie. And there's another one. Stroud will find Dalton Schultz. Maybe we should go to the tight end a little bit more. Second and 10 for Stroud again. He will scramble to his right on the run and he just misses Robert Woods. I 
I don't know where he was going. I mean, I knew where he was going with the football. I just missed him. A third and 10, Stroud now scrambling again. I think his throw on the run is not very good. So I try to plant my feet and we got to Robert Woods. So Woods picks up a huge first down in now deep into Jacksonville territory down to the seven yard line. Stroud is four for 12 throwing the football, but he's got hundred yards. Third and goal, Stroud drops back. It will be a screen pass to Devin Singletary because nothing was working beforehand. Singletary's down to the three yard line. It'll be a fourth and goal for the Texans. Stroud will go for it. He'll look for Cole Beasley, but again, like his first target to Beasley, the ball's not even close. Jacksonville gets it back. We thought we could blow up that run with Christian Kirksey. We can't, and Travis Etienne will break a tackle and make a third and one. So the Jaguars were in their own end zone. Now they're down to the 13 yard line on a third and one. I mean, how fitting would it be if Jacksonville went 99 yards and scored a touchdown? Probably shouldn't have said it because it'll probably happen now. First down for Jacksonville down to the 36, a minute five left to go in this first half. Trevor Lawrence throwing through the rainy conditions. He will find the former Atlanta Falcon. It is Calvin Ridley once more. Ridley's got 180 yards so far in this first half, 23 seconds to go. Again, what was I saying about 99 yard drive? Evan Ingram down to the four. 16 seconds to go. Now give him nine seconds on a first and goal. Lawrence, I mean, just finds an Evan Ingram who spots up right on the goal line. Touchdown for Jacksonville. It is a 99 yard drive capped off by that touchdown Lawrence to Ingram. And again, you hate to make the comparisons with the Browns and the Lions, but it's 28 nothing for Jacksonville going into the second half over the Houston Texans. All right, well, they start off with the football. Second and 10, CJ Stroud from zone 18 yard line, scrambling to his right. He will find John Mechie. That's like our route. It's, and this is probably our go-to play at this point. I know it, we're, this is coming from a team that's got zero points, but it's the rollout to the right. You find a guy on a slant, you hit him. Big things have produced out of that. John Mechie gets a break off of his corner right there, but of course, CJ Stroud throws it like 50 yards over his head. So fourth and 12, we got a punt, and Jacksonville gets it back from their own three yard line. And, oh, we're gonna push Travis Etienne back. Wow, we get a safety. Christian Kirksey's there. Our first points are from the defense. So our defense has outscored our offense two to nothing. The score is 28 to two. Looking for Robert Woods is CJ Stroud and CJ Stroud kind of puts it on him, but Woods cannot come down with the football. So Jacksonville gets it back up by 26 points. Evan Ingram is hit in the flats by Trevor Lawrence, and that ball is going to be brought down to the 46-yard line. Second and four now for the Jags. Lawrence dropping back, looking on a screen. We can't get there. We're too slow. So Travis Etienne breaks a tackle, or just jukes out a couple guys. Etienne brings the Jags down now to the 29-yard line. It'll be a third and seven now for the Jaguars. Lawrence, I mean, you kind of know what's happening. Of course, they spot him up on a curl route. First down for the Jaguars once more to the 12 yard line. It keeps on going. We're playing the softest zone coverage I have ever seen. We're playing softer zone than the Rams in the 2001 Super Bowl on that final drive. Travis Etienne scores again. I mean, what's the score at 35 to two? It's a 33 point game and we don't have a touchdown. We don't have an offensive score yet. No field goal, no touchdown. No, we've got a safety. There's our, okay, we call that our trademark play, and of course it gets picked off. John Mechie can't get in front of the corner, so it's intercepted, so Jacksonville gets the football back once more. They could go up 42-2 to right now. They could be up 40 points in a professional football game, and they probably will be. On a third and five, they pick up the first down. We get the Jaguars to a lot of third downs, like here's another one, third and eight, but you simply can't get them off the field. Touchdown, Lawrence with a strike to Christian Kirk, and the former Arizona Cardinal will score. It is officially now a 40-point game here in Jacksonville, and we haven't even hit the fourth quarter. 50 seconds left in this third quarter. Stroud drops back on the third and 10. He finds Dalton Schultz, but he misses him. I mean, you can't put in Davis Mills because you just can't. And CJ Stroud is actually the leading passer in the NFL right now. And well, we get Moss in the end zone. Zay Jones, it is a now 47 point game going into the fourth quarter. I mean, you can't make that up. Like that catch, like you can't make it up. 49 to two, what are we doing? So here's the fourth quarter. I mean, let's just get it over with. Maybe we can score a touchdown. I don't know, something like that. CJ Stroud in third and two, he'll find Cole Beasley. It is Beasley's first catch as a Houston Texan. That's Stroud's seventh completion. He is seven for 29 throwing the football. Stroud will then find Damian Pierce for a first down. Now, again, I'm not doing myself any favors by, you know, backing up 35 yards before I throw the football in my dropbacks, but still, second and 26, Stroud will find John Mechie. That is a really good football. That's the best football. Poor accuracy, though. No, that is the best ball Stroud has put on Mechie. 
really throughout this entire franchise so far. You wanted a bullet pass to get it right over the defender's head, and that's exactly what Stroud will do. He'll work back to John Mechie as well. Mechie is acquiring up the yards because Stroud has 207 passing yards. He's got an average of about 20 yards so far at completion in this game. And there goes another one to John Mechie. Most of those passes are going to John Mechie, and Mechie, believe it or not, after this game, is going to end up as the NFL's leading receiver. And there is a touchdown from Damian Pierce. Now, again, that's going to be a result of us throwing the football so damn much because we're always behind, but it's just kind of crazy, right? Stroud's the leading passer and John Mechie's the leading receiver. And we're going to go for two just to get in the double digits, which is a crazy feat. But yeah, we scored 10 points. We're only now down by 39 points. It's 49 to 10 with six minutes to go. But yeah, Mechie's going to be the number one receiver so far in the NFL in terms of yards. And then CJ Stroud, I think is number one passer. Uh, yeah, Trevor Lawrence with his sixth touchdown of the game. It's the fourth quarter and they're up by 39 points and they're still throwing. And Evan Ingram hits the... Lose Vert just want to rock dance. And this just describes our game. Third and eight on the seam route. Stroud hits Dalton Schultz and it bounces right off his hands. He's got stone for hands. And yeah, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win this game. I don't even want to see the final score. It's going to look something like 50 something to 10. I don't even want to see it. it. It's another bad performance for the Houston Texans. They lose by 46, 56 to 10. Okay, again, we are getting you know, we seem to be on that 2008 Lions level on that one Browns team who went, what, 0, 15, and 1. I just don't know. We're going to look to the future. The Texans are still bad. And I think it only gets worse. I believe they play an undefeated 3-0 Steelers team next week. So we'll see y'all for that. Folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba, forever.